Yeah. On the ship, rap money, buying homes, open the stores, add to it, multiply, hustle more. What else you think you living for? The game is raw, show your young ones how to ball. Before they run the town, they gotta walk the walk. Before Alright, what's going on, people? It's been a minute, man, checking in with y'all today. I'm in Jersey City right now, Jersey City, New Jersey. Uh, those of y'all that's been rocking with me for a little while I already know how I feel about New Jersey. Can't stand New Jersey. Uh, missed my t made the wrong turn. Coming to a location I've been to several times, and that's that's it. That's the thing about New Jersey, man. Like, seems like every time I come up here, something didn't change. You know what I'm saying? But got it done, man. We grabbed this load up out of Bradens in Florida, Tropicana load. Delivered to this Tropicana up here. Now we post it up and we waiting for our um, next pickup time, 15 miles away. Picking up a load, going to Ohio. So, so we just gonna post up at uh, on the side of the street, leaving out of the Bradenton uh, Tropicana facility and just wait here until it's time to go pick up this next load. So I'm officially in the last year of this lease first two years have flown by. they flown by looking back on them. Hindsight always getting 2020. And it surely didn't seem like it was going to go by that fast. You know, but we're in the last year, man. So, um, can see light at the end of the tunnel. You know, the, the, the ending and everything is starting to, to clear up and, and starting to focus. And um, at this point, man, I've narrowed down what it is I plan to do next to uh, four options. Um, I'm outside right now, man. My trainee is sleeping. He need to get his sleep because he's going to be driving tonight. And um, Plus, it actually kind of feel all right. I mean, it's cool, but, you know, I actually don't feel too bad out here. But, like I said, um, four options. So the first three are the same. It's an owner-operator carrier that... Um, I've looked into, and damn, I mean, it was pretty quiet out here until I decided to record this video. Now I got airplanes flying over, several trucks rolling in. Like, damn. Shit. All right, so I guess we clear to speak again. So, um, three owner-operated carriers that I'm, I'm considering. It really just one of it's really one it's one out of the three that i'm really sold on and um the fourth option would be uh, getting another lease with prime switching to the tanker division and um running that for about six months to a year but that seems less likely now that i've kind of looked into it a little bit more um, so the odds are i'm going to go ahead purchase my truck once I'm done with this one and turn it back in and um, go ahead and lease on to one of those three carriers that I've narrowed my options down to. So looking forward to that, man. This this last year should fly by. Uh, 2018 is coming to a close. It's been a pretty good year for me. Looking back on things, you know, I guess I'll go ahead and talk to you about the money, man, because everybody always wants to know what the money is looking like. How's it going? Um, 2017, y'all know I did um, 217,000 gross. Spent the first half of the year running solo. The last half of that year, uh, I became a trainer. Grabbed my first two students, Myra and Sony. And um, so that year ended with 217,000 gross dollars with a net of 72,000. Um, this year, to date, we still got three weeks Three weeks left in this year and yeah three weeks left in this year so as of right now the truck has made two hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars gross um, net deposited into my account the truck my company me since me being the company um, have made um, eighty nine thousand dollars with three with three weeks left, so I already know that my check this week is gonna total around 
45. So we can bump to 89 all the way up to basically 93. And with three more checks left, safe to say that I'm gonna clear over 100,000 net for this year and the truck will gross because uh, it was 267,000 gross before this week that just ended today and the gross this week was 95 so you bump that up to basically um, was it 276 yeah 276 like I said once again with three more weeks left safe to say that um, the gross will be close to 300 probably be around 285 to 295 somewhere in between there so it'll be close to 300,000 on the gross for this year that's great for the business you know the gross numbers look good as far as uh, financing and potential loans or lines of credit things like that as far as when they want to look at tax returns and, and whatnot it's, that's, that's that's a good look but you know i'm worried about the net so Going from 72,000 in 2017 up to 100,000 or over 100,000 in net, you know, that's that's great. You feel me? That's that's what I was looking for, and that's what I was expecting. So to hit that figure this year, um, well, I haven't hit it yet, but you know, all signs point that direction. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm, I'm happy. Like I said, this has been a good year for me. Trained this whole year. I had four trainees. Started off with uh, Lucius, picked up Billy, grabbed Ian, and now I currently have uh, my current training name is Kwaku, and we're finishing up. He actually has about maybe 2,400 miles left to accomplish his 40,000, so we'll be done with his his miles by um, next week. So he's gonna stay on the truck through Christmas stuff, through New Year's. He's gonna stay on the truck through New Year's. I'm gonna run through the holidays, get this uh, holiday initiative holiday bonus, whatever they want to call it. Um, I did it, I did it my first year. The bonus was 500. And this year they bumped it up to 750. So I'll get 750 and they'll actually give him 375 for running, you know, with me. Um, so we're going to do that. And then after, after New Year's, get him situated, drop off at the terminal so he can go ahead and upgrade. And since I'm going to miss pretty much the holidays, I'm, I am going to swing by the house. You know, the good thing is, who my current trainee lives 20 miles away from me so we're gonna go home for christmas eve and christmas day and get back to it but since i'm gonna miss new year's and really not gonna be able to enjoy the holidays um, after i dropped them off the upgrade i'm hauling ass back home um, after officially hitting that two-year mark with the lease uh, you earn here i promise you'll earn earn a uh, free week a week with no truck note so i'm gonna utilize that when i go home I'm go home for about two weeks business as usual with the first week the loads I run to get me home cover my expenses that second week will be taken care of with the uh, the free week uh, as far as the lease payment goes and I'll get back out here get back to the money man be looking for another trainee so just gonna end this year out strong in this third and final year this lease out strong make as much as I can save as much as I can and uh, combination with, 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 I, with what I will have saved up by years in with that lease completion which I'm expecting to be about 15,000 17 18,000 according to the equation it's based on the miles on the truck and they multiply that by 0 0.0525 cents so uh, forecasting and predicting the mileage on my truck when I turn it in it'll be around 450,000 miles so that basically should give me around 20,000 to twenty-one thousand dollars, but you know you're not gonna get all that. They're gonna find something wrong with the truck to deduct from your your payout. So I'm expecting I'm lowballing. I'm expecting about fifteen thousand. More would be better, but I'm expecting about fifteen thousand. So that fifteen k plus the money I'm gonna have saved up, which should be about somewhere between seven and ten. We'll go along and say seven. That's twenty what twenty two thousand right there cash credit cards and all that I'm gonna have a totaling up to uh, over 10,000 so basically I'll be having about 30 to 40 thousand dollars you know combined cash and credit to make my move and buy my truck and you know get my business uh, grow my business man move move forward with uh, 
the plan, move on to step number two of this journey. So just want to come holler at y'all, man, about that. Time flies, man. You know, trust the process, stick to your plan, and um, good things happen. So, like I said, this time next year, I'll be definitely, at the very least, shopping for a truck, which I've been doing anyways. I already know what I want to buy. I know what the price range is. Um, so, at this time next year, I'll either be purchasing a truck, or maybe I'll chill out a week till um, the new year begins to, to get moving. Who knows? But... Either way, man, things are going good. Things have been going good, man. And um, just looking forward to what the future has to hold. So just wanted to check in with y'all. It's been a minute. Just an update with me. Been running hard, man. Me and uh, me and my current trainee actually hit about 6,700 miles this week. So we've been rolling. You know what I mean? And that's, that's what it's all about, man. Grinding, making the sacrifices. Um, making the sacrifices pay off. You feel me? So, um. I said, man, I'm going to let y'all go. Just want to check in with y'all and let y'all know what it is, man. I'll be hollering at y'all a little later. But as always, till next time, y'all be easy. <laughs>